it was about time that I retire and uh, I think a moment like this obviously doesn't come overnight. It was a, a process and um, an emotional one, uh, which at the end I thought uh, uh, we managed well uh, with uh, the family, my team and my closest friends. Um, I had to obviously tell a lot of people as well, uh, so the organization was big at the end to have, make sure it, it wouldn't leak because it was important to me to tell my fans um, directly. It all worked out and uh, here we are at the Labour Cup, but uh, it, was, uh, it was definitely uh, more highly unusual last few weeks for me. I mean, the decision was uh, in a way difficult to take because uh, you never want to take it. I think as a professional athlete, you want to always be, be active forever. You want to feel like you can come back on tour and win some matches and um, go back on a, on a big court. But at the same time, you also know it's going to be over at some point. And it, I think this is the right time for sure. Yeah, I've always tried to keep uh, somewhat of a clean slate. So my future, I think, looks um, very open at the moment. Yet, I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to be an ambassador to brands. Uh, I own a piece of uh, on running. Um, I have my foundation. Um, I mean, a dad, number one, and a husband. So I want to spend uh, loads of time with them as well. But then I will never stop traveling. You know, I always want to be active and always ready to explore new things and um, right now it's about enjoying uh, the process and uh, the week here in London and then once it's all said and done to go back and um, read a little bit what maybe I have not seen about me yet or have accomplished and then you can start sort of turning the page and then I always wanted to also stay involved in the game uh, in some shape or form and I'm sure I'll find some, some really exciting role where I can give back to um, uh, the younger generation. Yeah, Labour Cup's going to be my last sort of active uh, tournament I'll play. Um, feels good. I think it's a, a lovely place. Um, having Björn Borg as my captain, uh, you can imagine that means uh, the world to me and I think it's going to be very special. Um, he, be, doing it here in London, I think it's going to be great just because this city has given me two World Tour Finals victories here um, to close out an incredible year that I probably already had that, those years. And then down the road in Wimbledon, winning there eight times plus juniors. So I don't know, um, this, uh, this city um, and its fans have given me a lot. So I thought it was also very fitting to, to end it here. Um, I will not play, keep stop playing tennis. You know, it's just uh, I will not play for points anymore. You know, as I also said, uh, I will keep on playing with my children, with my friends. I uh, hope to play exhibitions in the futures and uh, to still keep on promoting the game and playing in places I've never played before. So I'm really looking forward to that as well in the future. Yes, I'm really looking forward to a competition like the Labour Cup where teammates, uh, competitors become teammates. For me, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a very special week um, because uh, I was part of uh, building uh, the idea of the Labour Cup with my good friend and agent, Tony Gotzek. Um, we worked long and hard on the concept and I think we came up with something really special. And I think now having the big four all together in the same week is really a dream come true. Yes, it's a very good omen to have won the last four years. And I think uh, having the likes of Rafa, Novak on the team, Rude, Tsitsipas, everybody. Um, okay, then we have Murray and me, we're maybe not at, it, at the peak anymore where we used to be, but still, I think with home court advantage, home court crowd, uh, and then with everything that we've done and achieved the last uh, years, especially also at the Labour Cup, knowing the format now, everybody, I think we're coming in as, as heavy favourites, but uh, I, I really think it's always close every year. We've had, had some uh, tremendous close matches. Uh, you always see a lot of uh, third set uh, super tiebreakers and anything can happen in those, as we know. And last year we really dominated the doubles uh, in those, um, in those uh, 
ties, which I was a bit surprised. And I, I, I do feel maybe this year could be more, more difficult again. Uh, um, I don't think we can expect a, a blowout like we had in Boston last year. Which three words would I, uh, would I use to describe the Labour Cup? Um, unique, um, intense, and I would use like a word like generation, as you know, you have the, the, the future, the present, and the past. Yeah, so I think uh, the Labour Cup going to Vancouver is a great choice. Uh, I heard it's a wonderful city I've never been to, but I'm sure uh, going to Canada with its players, Dennis Shapovalov and Felix Ogier, Ali Asim, I think it's going to create a lot of energy for, for Team World. Um, of course, I think it always is nice to welcome new faces to, to the Labour Cup. Uh, we try to do that um, every single year, but you know, not everybody can always fit it into the schedule, but I think uh, the week is so much fun. Uh, you learn so much. You can ask all the questions you have to Johnny Mac, to me, to Rafa, to Novak, to, you name it. We're all here and uh, I think uh, it's very, um, it's just a, it's a great and a fun week, but also a very intense week. So I understand sometimes if they can't fit it into the schedule. Of course, if Carlos Alcaraz could be part of the team uh, next year, that'd be great. We hope to have him here this year. Um, we were in touch with his team and I know his coach very well. I used to play against him, but he just said, look, it could be a little bit too much. And I'm the first to always uh, protect, a, protect a good schedule and a healthy schedule for players. So uh, that's why we created the concept that hopefully it's intense, but yet you don't leave uh, like a broken man once you leave the Labour Cup, because that's also not the idea of the, the competition. Um, so I like the EQS. It would not be my next car as it's my present car at the moment. I'm driving it at home and uh, I like driving it a lot. It's super, super smooth. Uh, the inside, I'm still coming to term with it. Uh, how, you know, the many buttons, the many uh, features it has. Um, but I've again, just uh, found out another um, thing you can do with the car to feel better, to um, relax better uh, with the music, the, the light show almost, um, vibrations of the chair, massaging. There was so much going on at the same time. We were laughing with my daughter when we were driving in the car. So it's a, it's a great drive and I'm really uh, pleasantly surprised that uh, um, uh, the range with electric cars is actually not a big deal. Uh, it's only if you go for super long trips, you have to really be a little bit uh, 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 you need to plan ahead. Other than that, it's really no, no big deal. So it's a, it's a, it's a fun drive. I hope so. I mean, we have Neon Legacy up and running now. Um, we're looking forward to do more things as well in, in Vancouver in a year. And in the meantime, now that the news is out that I'm retiring, I think it allows us to, uh, to do other things together. And um, I mean, I love my relationship uh, with the brand and uh, I know all the people. So it'd be fun to, to create new cool projects together.